All right, it's been a few days since the MPC Key 37 dropped, and I did a kitchen cook-up on it, but I felt like making another beat on the Key 37 again today. And as of right now, mid-February of 2024, these things are sold out. And all I can say is rightfully so because this is a very fun unit to make some beats on, and I'm going to try to make something dope today on it. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get to it and see if I make something that sounds good to you guys. Bolo! All right, before we get started, if you guys need anything for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click mysounds.com link in the description and get you something for your studio. They have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you, and then you just make monthly installments on the equipment. All they just need is a credit or debit card hooked to the account so they can take the money out monthly. Now, it's not everything on the site, but it is a whole bunch of stuff on the site that you guys can go ahead and get right now with no credit or background check. So go ahead and click that zounds.com link in the video description and get you some gear today. All right, you guys know how much I rock with analog cases because they make the best cases that will protect your musical gear. However, did you guys know that they make very dope stands as well? You need to check out the XTS stands. These things are crazy. They come in two different sizes and these things are made of premium steel. If you're someone like me who uses their MPC Live 2 or if you use like a Machine Plus or a Machine or like a SP404 or even like an iPad or smaller DJ gear, these stands are made for professional musicians just like you. And the good thing about it is you don't have to break the bank to get the stands. They're very inexpensive. So if you're a musician that is looking to get a professional grade stand, make sure you guys go ahead and click Click my analog cases link in the description and get you a stand today. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out the MPC Key 37. I'm going to be using all of the internal sounds inside of the MPC Key 37, and hopefully I can make something dope. So let's check it out right now. All right, so I got the MPC Key 37 out right now. The first sound that I'm going to use in here is called Bending Grime Bass, and it's out of the Hype plug-in. So it's called Bending Grind Bass. Pretty much just wanted to make something pretty smooth. So let's go ahead and add that in real quick. All right, so the next sound I'm gonna be using is from the Fabric XL. I'm gonna be using the Studio Grand Piano in here, and we're just gonna be adding some stabs in here. So let's go ahead and add those in there. All right, so the next plugin I'm gonna be using is the Jura plugin, and we're gonna be using the patch called Saw Wine. And I'm just gonna be doing this real simple. So let's go ahead and add that in there.
So the next sound I'm gonna be using is a hi-hat from my X Factor kit. And if you do not have my X Factor kit, you need to go ahead and get it right now. It is my highest selling kit and I really went crazy on that kit. I'm gonna be using a closed hi-hat right now and pretty much all of the drums that I'm gonna be using in this beat is gonna be coming from the X Factor kit. So let's go ahead and add that hi-hat in there right now. So the next sound we're gonna add from the X Factor kit is a clap, and it's just gonna be a regular clap in here. And that's pretty much it. So the next thing we're going to add in is some hi-hats. So let's go ahead and add those hi-hats in right now. Now it is time to go ahead and add a bass, and this bass is from my X Factor kit. So you guys need to go ahead and get this kit. I'm telling you, this thing is dope. So let's go ahead and add this bass line in real quick. All right, that sounds pretty good. I might switch it up a little later on, but we'll see about that. So the next thing I added in here was from the pluck section inside the Fabric XL. It's called Touching Taps. And I just did something really simple. Let's go ahead and add that in there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add in is a snare. So let's go in and add the snare for my X-Factor kit. And that is pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to run all of this stuff from my MPC through my Manly Force into my Apollo X6. And I'm gonna run all the sounds through that analog signal chain and I'm gonna run it into Pro Tools. And I'm actually gonna sequence that inside of Pro Tools. 
And uh, it sounds like we got a pretty good beat so far, but um, I'm going to go ahead and probably add some other stuff to the beat and maybe switch a few things up. But I will have the whole beat on my other channel, which is the Bolo MP3 channel. So if you guys want to hear the whole beat, go ahead and go to the Bolo MP3 channel and make sure you guys subscribe to it because I will be putting up beats a lot more on there as well. But for right now, we got some that's pretty good. Let's play it back. There it is. Finished the beat on the MPC Key 37. Came out pretty doggone good. Came out pretty good. But if you guys want to hear the completed beat, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my other channel, which is Bolo MP3, and I will have the completed beat on that page so you guys can go ahead and check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.